So in this problem 6.45, we have a bullet being traveled or being shot from a rifle that is being buried into a piece of wood. So if we were to draw this, we have uh, a perfectly drawn gun that is shooting out a bullet, and it is traveling this way into a piece of wood. Uh, what we are given with this problem is that uh, the initial velocity of the bullet is 400 meters per second. Uh, the bullet travels, once it hits the wood, it travels a total of uh, 11 centimeters into the wood. So it would end up about there, and that'd be 11 centimeters. Uh, the length of the barrel, um, so I'll almost call that B, is 60 centimeters, and that would be this right here. And is that it? Oh, the, the mass, mass of the mass bullet, M of B, equals 12 grams. And now what we need to find in this problem is uh, the force the force of kinetic friction that the bullet experiences when it enters the block of wood, and the time it takes the bullet to stop in the block of wood. So uh, to analyze the forces in this problem, uh, the sum of the forces in the x direction, uh, is equal to mass times acceleration, because there is a force. Uh, that sum of force in the x direction is just the force of kinetic friction. So we could say the force of kinetic friction equals mass times acceleration. And then sum of the forces in the y direction uh, is equal to zero, because sum of the forces in the y direction is just the normal force minus the force of gravity, and they're always equal, so that's zero. And then we need a free body diagram. That's just an interaction diagram. So we have our dot with a normal force, force of gravity, and force of kinetic friction. Since motion is in this direction, force of kinetic friction opposes it, and slows it down. Um, to solve for the force of kinetic friction, uh, the formula for that, the force of kinetic friction, would be equal to, or just the formula for a force, is equal to mass times acceleration. We know the mass of the bullet. We need to find the acceleration um, that the bullet is undergoing when it enters this block. So to find that acceleration, we're going to use a kinematic formula. We're going to use uh, final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2a uh, change of position. So since we're solving for a, we'll get that alone. So we have final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared divided by 2 times delta s equals a. And then plugging the variables we know, the final velocity is zero because it stops. The initial velocity is 400 meters per second squared. Oh no, that's just meters per second, sorry. And this whole thing is squared. Divided by two times change of position, uh, which is the position from when it enters to stops. That is 11 centimeters in this case, but in meters, since that's what we need for this formula, that is 0.11 meters times 0.11 meters equals A. And then that gives us that A is equal to uh, 727,000 meters per second squared. Very big number. So now if we take that back up here to solve for the force of kinetic friction, I'll write that over here. The force of kinetic friction is equal to the mass times the acceleration, which in this case is equal to uh, the mass given is 12 grams in kilograms. That's 0 0.012. So 0 0.012 kilograms times 727,000 meters per second squared. That's equal to FK. And then that comes out to um, 8,700 newtons. And that is the answer for part A, 8,700 8, newtons. So, um, a thing to note, I forgot to write it, this acceleration is negative because it is slowing down and traveling to the right, uh, but despite that, this force of kinetic friction is written as a positive because of, um, that's, I think that's just the convention for it. It's just written as a positive. Uh, I forgot the free body diagram. So it's free body diagram time. Uh, this bullet is only experiencing force of gravity. So when drawing a free body diagram, it's just going to be that arrow down gravity. Great. Now we're solving for the time it takes to stop. 
So in the time for to, uh, to find the time it takes for the bulb to stop, we could just use kinematic formulas like we did over here. We'll use um, final velocity equals initial velocity uh, plus at. We're solving for t, so moving variables around, we have final velocity minus initial velocity divided by a equals t. And I'll write, I'll write t stop, just to keep make this clear. Uh, plugging in what we know, final velocity equals zero. Initial velocity is 400 meters per second. And then the acceleration is seven, negative 727,000 meters per second squared equals the time to stop. And that comes out to um, a discussing decimal that we'll write in scientific notation as 5.5 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. And that's the answer for part B. Okay. And then to, to add a free body diagram into this question, because I forgot it earlier, uh, we're going to look at the bullet while it is uh, entering the wood. Um, it ha is experiencing the force of gravity down. And it is also experiencing uh, a force of kinetic friction, slowing it down while it's entering. Is there a normal force? I think so. I think there is, because it is touching something. Yeah. So there, and there would also be a normal force once it enters here. I'm gonna have to redo these then. No. No. It's only gonna take a minute. Don't worry. Because okay. I can just write it and then say they don't.